So here's a little update on my figs. They're starting to root. So they look pretty good. Let's see here, some of these guys are getting some nice nubbies. These big guys, I don't know if they're going to make it. They've got more of a hardened bark on them. And I have put little nicks and cuts below the water line to give them an opportunity to root. And I just don't know that they're going to do it. And I was thinking, like, I should be using fish water to change their water because it's full of all kinds of uh, nutrients and stuff. And then I thought, well, heck, Deb, you have a plant tank. So I put them in here in the plant tank. They have lots of oxygen. There's rooting media in there. There's fertilizer. And there's full spectrum lighting on a timer. <laughs> like, duh. It's a perfect environment. It's humid. And I think they're going to root really nicely in here. And I put this guy in the front so that I could watch the progress. Just to make sure that they were going. Some of these already have little nubs on them. So they should take off pretty fast. Um, I just don't know why I didn't think about this earlier. I think they're going to do exceptionally well in here. So we'll see. Because this gets, when it gets low, it gets refilled with plant water. From our fish water from my aquarium, and um, and then I add plant fertilizers. So I don't know. We'll see what happens with the figs. And if it doesn't work, I can go out there and get more cuttings um, and try it again. But I think some of these are going to work. And I really only need about six figs myself. So we'll see. Yeah, this seems like a viable option here, so hopefully it'll work. Um, of course, I don't want some of these leaves here covering up my plants too much, so we'll turn those around so they don't get too much of the light blocked. Put these other little guys in there. Oxygen's really good for them for rooting. And this tank is pretty easy to clean when I clean my big tank, so it's going to make cleaning easier. But I, I kind of thinking like this is a better idea. <laughs> I don't know. There could be uh, compounds in here that are toxic to my few little plants I have in here. But um, I guess I'll find that out pretty soon, right? They're not my only. Uh, Plants, so I could start some more, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'm gonna have a better success rate with these smaller ones here, rooting in this kind of an environment. Well, what are you doing, Eddie? Huh? Oh boy, he's growing. Huh. I know. I got your catnip. He loves these. I was trying to find a chew stick for him. Cause he's probably teething a little bit and he just wants something to chew on and so these stems from catnips are his favorite he's just loving these my mom has a bunch and then he's got his mechanical fish Yay! <laughs> oh boy Eddie. he's getting a bigger belly on him he tamed all his tapeworms so he's starting to fill out, which is good. All right, buddy. And of course, this is what you want at the end of the day. This is a half gallon of dried figs. And um, these are going to be really, really good um, this winter to eat in my oatmeal and stuff. Um, after I dry them, I put them in a jar. I do put them in the freezer for a couple days so that if there's any insect eggs actually on the figs themselves that that gets killed. And um, I found that that's the best way when you're drying stuff to make sure that you don't end up with those little mites and stuff in there that eat up your lovely figs or whatever you're processing. So all this effort for these little babies. Got a couple here in a shot glass. I'm giving them a chance because they're so little. But we'll see. But yeah, trying to make some figs. 
right, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye. Mmm, yummy.